Hi guys, this is Kyle from Tacoma Games, and you may be wondering, why am I doing a box opening so late? Well, here's the thing, Ixalan is coming out September 29th, which basically means rotation, and we're rotating a lot. So this means that our devastation currently, I feel, is very undervalued. Uh, some of the top cards right now, they're all mythics, and one of them are, is even Nicol Bolas from the Planeswalker deck. That does not spell good for this set, but... Here's what we have. We already have cards like a braid making its way in multiple formats. Uh, mainly it's lightning strike with some additional upside. And then we have a card like hollow one, which is already making its way into legacy. But we have other cards in the set that are going to become more powerful as standard progresses. And this is kind of why I wanted to do a box opening. Now, average box opening right now uh, is about $100 worth of value, which is pretty good if you're picking up the boxes for about $100. Now, low end is probably, you're looking at like $50, which is not so good. High end, I mean, if you pull some of the, uh, oh, they're not expeditions anymore, the invocations out. Okay, if you pull some of the invocations out, obviously your value skyrockets quite a bit. Even the current cards that are in standard invocations are selling for quite a bit of money. So, you could actually break even, if not make some money off these boxes. However, as I said, the value of what they are going to be in standard are going to raise quite a bit, which is why I'm kind of doing a box opening late. All right, so here we go. All right, here's our box. Let's go ahead and get this open. Get our packs out. Start cracking. I don't know, for some reason I always like to make it look like a display case. We'll set that off to the side. Alright. Pack one. Typically I'll slow roll these, at least for the first uh, set of commons. Uh, I'll go a little bit faster since, while commons are interesting, you know, we don't necessarily want to look at this many cards at once. I think the more important pieces are usually your rares and uncommons. Uh, and maybe if we pull something cool. All right, so Active Heroism. Canera's Scraper. Scrapper? There we go. Spellweaver Eternal. Bitterbow Sharpshooters. Wretched Camel. Harrier Naga. God Pharaoh's Faithful. Life Goes On. Stripped River Winder. Gilded Suradon. Alright, Supreme Will, which I have seen played against me quite a bit while playing Standard. Uh, Dune Diviner. If near Deadlands, one of our deserts. Alright, then we got Leave to Chance, which is. Let's leave two cards with Aftermath. Alright, and a Plains and a Snake. Alright. Alright, Dauntless Avon, Blur of Blades, Unquenchable Thirst, Carrion Screecher, Sidewinder Naga, Marauding Bone Lasher, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Traveler's Amulet, Striped River Winder, Magma Roth, Gideon's Defeat, Dagger of the Worthy, A Ride, Planeswalker. We have Samot the Tested. It's plus one. Up to target creature, up to one target creature gains double strike until in the turn. It's negative two. Sam at the tested deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. Negative seven the ultimate. Search the library for up to two creatures and or planeswalker cards. Put them onto the battlefield, then shelf your library. Starts at four, costs two red and a green, and that ultimate actually sounds pretty damn good. And we got our nice foil, even of enduring hope. Which is common. Alright, and a full art. And a token. Pack three. Alright, act of heroism. Puncturing blow. Spell weaver at the eternal. Uh, rampaging hippo. Moaning wall. Ambuscade? Embuscade? 
Oh, man, murdering that one. All right, strategic planning. Desert of the Glorified. Uh, Scrounger of Souls. Defiant. Oh, man, Kenra. All right, guys, through the magic of video editing, uh, obviously I got a little interrupted. Um, I'm back, and here are uncommons. Unconventional Tactics, Crypt of the Eternals, Vizier of the Anointed, and a Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh. All right, this is your most expensive card in the set. Short of, you know, getting an invocation. But right now, uh, average I think is about $19. I'm sure low is a little bit lower on that. But cool nonetheless. Good way to start. I mean, two Planeswalkers, first three packs. I'm liking it. All right. Now I'm just going to leave through the uncommons, or commons and uncommons, uh, just because I really just want to see the rares. Maybe we'll get an invocation. However, one thing I'm kind of glad to see back in standard is... Mono red decks. Uh, well, one, I do actually hate mono red decks. Uh, just playing against them personally. I'm not a big fan of playing them. But uh, I think it makes the format kind of cool. Oh, sorry. Our uh, rare was Ronus Last Stand. I'll try not to rant too much. All right. But what's kind of cool are the deserts. Um, I've been playing online a little bit, playing a little bit in the store. And the deserts are actually pretty cool. They do add some diversity. All right, Angel of Condemnation is a rare. And sadly, a basic land. Don't get me wrong, I like that they put basic lands in packs, especially for new players. But I've got a ton of lands. No braids, but a solemnity. Ooh. Oh, a foil mythic. Razaketh. I think this is going for about $18, $19 right now. That's pretty good. Oddly enough, not my first one. But so far, this box has been pretty good. Hostile Desert, which I have to say, the art looks pretty damn cool. All right, Hope Tender, Sunset Pyramid, Inferno Jet, and there's the Hollow One. Just made its way into the lower, lower, lower formats. I guess I can't really call them lower. Let's call them older. Vizier of the True Foil. And one of these punch cards that makes a mess for all judges and stores. If you tend to use these during draft, you know, please clean up. Thank you. Caster, Sand Strangler, Vizier of the True, Kefnit's Last Word. Alright, I didn't get a chance to read the whole story, but uh, as far as I know, Hazard's like the only god that's living. Uh, sorry, spoilers. Which 
which is why you'll see a lot of the last words. Sunset Pyramid, Accursed Horde, Struggle to Survive, and Hand of Glory. Now this feels a little thick. Maybe I got something cool. A foil planes. <laughs> foil basic. I would really like to full art. Then I've been really happy about this box. I do have to say the full art foilings, and very specifically the foilings on the set, uh, I'm really starting to like. Uh, it seems, I don't know if they've changed their foiling process, but... I don't know, it just feels like it pops to me. Like, more than it used to. I always felt like previous foiling has been kind of dark. Especially, like, from the vault sets, or even, like, the Modern Masters sets. The Locust God. Ooh, that's another Mythic. How many Mythics we got? Let's see. At least four, if you count the foil. Alright, one. Two with the foil... Three, four. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Four mythics. That's about average for a box. Barely halfway through. I do have to say, this box is pretty cool. Let's see how lucky we get. Or maybe it's just all downhill from here. I don't know. Let's get through our commons. Alright, unconventional tactics. Jace's defeat. Obelisk spider. Hazard's undying fury. See, Hazard's undying. See, see a card like this? Hoop o? Hoop o? I don't know. I totally killed that name. Which I obviously did. Alright, reason to believe. Come on, Invocation. You might be in here. This box is just too good not to give me one, right? Let's get through these uncommons. Or commons. My bad. Chandra's Defeat. Angel of the God Pharaoh, Shefet Dunes, Dunes, Shefet, yeah, that sounds good. I have Revelation. So far, doing so good. I'm just going to put that right there. <laughs> All right, appeal to authority. Sifter worm, vile manifestation, and pride sovereign is our rare. Ooh, full art. Sorry, I get excited about full arts. Now that they're actually rare, as opposed to BFC, where it was like every single pack you open is a full art. Makes me feel special. All right, this is defeat. Dune Diviner, Dagger of the Worthy, Endless Sands is our rare. Mm. Do an excellent job opening packs. Razakath's Right, Chandra's Defeat, Overcome, Apocalypse Demon. Ooh, cool. And a shiny thorned Moloch. Now, what I haven't seen is a braid. A braid's like the rare uncommon, but. Eh, it's cool. It's like the money uncommon. It's like they know. Ooh, I see a shiny back there. Alright, this is Defeat, Sunset's Pyramid, Eternal Harsh Truths, Nihab, the Eternal, ooh, Fifth Mythic, nice. Alright, Foil Full Art, Island, so shiny. Let's 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with this pack or this box. I may have to actually show like TCG value on this thing when I'm done. At least with the rares. <laughs> Commons and uncommons is just too much. Alright, Appeal to Authority, Inferno Jet, Desert Hold, Chaos Maw. Sheep Oasis, Vizier of Truth, Vizier of the Anointed, Hour of Promise. All right, Crook of Condemnation. All right, so I'm going to sit here and talk about this card really quick. Um, for those who haven't noticed, uh, you might need some additional graveyard hate. Um, this essentially allows you to do that graveyard hate. Uh, one in tap, you can exile a specific card as opposed to a random card. And then uh, one, just go ahead and exile all cards from graveyards. I don't know, I personally find that pretty helpful. Especially in modern, but probably not that one in modern. But in standard, I've noticed a lot of graveyard recursion now. Uh, unraveling Mummy. Rumap. Rumap. Ruins? Oh, I'm totally killing that. Champion of Wits, which I've seen played against me many times now. Uh, specifically, if you want some graveyard hate, you want to hate that card. I've been playing a Team of Energy deck, uh, which I find to be pretty consistent. Uh, except against the mono red decks, which just wreck me. All right. Manticore Eternal, Steward of Solidarity, Claim to Fame, and Dream Stealer. Doomfall. Resolute Survivors. Sand Strangler. Adorned Pouncer. Oh, let me go back to that. I got a quick question. Maybe someone can correct me. Uh, just noticed when opening a lot of packs. Uh, is there any card out there that says Resolute X, Resolute whatever, that's not Boros? <laughs> Always seems to be Boros to me. Fervent, Paincaster, Devotee of Strength. Oh, Rumanap? Yeah, someday I'll get this right. Ruins. <laughs> Abandoned Sarcophagus is our rare. Well, well, maybe I hit all my money in the first half of the box. Let's see where it goes from here. All right, Crook of Condemnation, Merciless Eternal, Claim to Fame, and Hour of Eternity. Ooh, and a Foil Firebrand Archer. Farm to Market, Quarry Beetle, Desert's Hold, God Pharaoh's Gift, and a Riddle Form, Shiny. C 
Sinuous Striker. Torment of Scarabs. Burning Fist Minotaur. Torment of Hellfire. Alright, I think I got like what? Oh, looks like maybe nine packs left. Let's see where this goes. One invocation. You know you want to give me one. Jace's defeat. Resolute survivors. A braid. I think that's our first braid. Hazard's undying fury. Uh, I got two Hazard's undying fury. One a braid. Come on. Merciless Eternal, Omniscious Sphinx, uh, Second Braid? Okay. Akatra's Last Mercy. Okay, not complaining about the braids. <laughs> Lack of the braids, complaining. But not complaining getting them. <laughs> All right. Sheep Oasis, Riddle Form, Obelisk Spider, Romanap Hydra. Man, I'm so killing that. I know I am. <laughs> oh. Well, there's our, uh, was it Embalmed Champion of Witzer? <laughs> All right. Sinuous Striker, Bane Whip Punisher, Tenacious Hunter, Hostile Desert. Oh, I'll leave that there. <laughs> Unconventional Tactics. If near Deadlands, Liliana's Defeat, Hour of Devastation, which is actually a pretty good card. Water Entity, Crypt of the Eternals, Cassigned to Oblivion, Emit Eternal. Alright, we are in the last three packs. Imaginary Threats, Bloodwater Entity, Unraveling Mummy, Earthshaker Kinra, and you may have heard that name like a question, that's because it is, I don't know how to pronounce these things very well, and yet I play this game over and over. Angel of the God Pharaoh, Supreme Will, Vile Manifestation, and Dream Stealer. All right, last pack. Ipnu Rivulet, Dunes of the Dead. Struggle to survive, grind to dust, and an island. All right, no invocations. Uh, definitely got some good cards. We've got five mythics, uh, two foil lands, one of them being a full art. And we did get a foil mythic with Razaketh. Right, let's just double check here. Our mythic count. I'm always interested in how many come out of a box. All right, Nahab the Eternal. Nahab? Nahab? Sounds good. The Locust God. 
There is Razaketh the full-blooded, or foul-blooded. There we go. Foil. So shiny. Nicobolus. Semit the Tested. All right. Well, that is it. All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be throwing up some numbers, basically kind of what our value was out of the box, uh, specifically around the rares. I'll throw in the foils, too, just to make sure that we kind of even it out. But, you know, a braid is definitely a value card. Uh, commons, there aren't really many commons that are worth that much. Um, but we'll go ahead and throw in the value, see where things are at. These cards are going in the trash because we do not want them. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.